What's up, what's up, what's up? Just about to take off here. I know this is a bunch of cruisers over here. And some one of the guys get off and he was just completely decked out in Harley swag and all this and that and made me think of an idea. So this actually when uh, a, a topic I've had wanted to talk about before, I just never remember when I'm doing this thing on the bike. See here's here's one of them right here. Harley Davidson. There's a few more. This one right here don't actually look as bad. Got that Springer front end on it. Yeah, I don't mind cruisers. Of course, they all went here to this coffee place, which is just gay as hell. Of course, they can't do this. But it made me think of like an idea that was a. Uh, I've had and that, that's like you know why why do people buy a motorcycle and uh, and uh, for for the most part you have the, the main category of people so you buy it some people buy it for um what's what's the word moving fuck. <laughs> getting around the fuck I'm stupid as hell you know, most most people not most people some people buy them for uh, commuting. God, is that real? That was a hard word. I got hung up on commuting. Cheers. Oh, you're just a dumb American. Look at you making your stupid videos. So, yeah, uh, some people buy them for commuting. Some people buy them for enjoyment and just getting out there. Some, you know, a lot of people's combination of both of those two things, you know. Um, some just out of, like, necessity. You live in fucking... Little weird Asian countries or something weird where a scooter makes more damn sense than a car. Or, you know, there's a lot of there's just, just a lot of different reasons, but you know. Um, and then there's people who buy a Harley, and there are some people that buy a Harley or a Cruiser for those reasons. You know, particularly Harley. Those what I'm going after right here is Harleys. So they buy a Harley for. Um, for, for maybe some of those reasons, maybe because they want to uh, commute and get around this and that. I mean, if you're into cruisers, that is, that is kind of like the be-all of cruisers, just because it, it looks the fuck cool and sounds cool. And, I mean, I don't even mind. Like, I don't even, like, hate on cruiser guys or Harley guys because there's something about having a bike of just, you know, of cool, something having something of just cool factor and losing some practali practicality just because it's fun. Yeah, I saw you looking. Fuck boy. And, um, you see that van in front of me just came over too. So, so like I said, I don't really have anything against them for that. But it's that, um, but that's not the way most people buy a Harley. For most people, Harley's not a motorbike for just something to get around on. It's, for them, it defines them. It's a lifestyle change when you go and buy a Harley. You know? You, you go into the Harley dealer, you're not going into the Harley dealer. That guy's not like, he's not selling you just a motorcycle. He's selling you this lifestyle change, you know, this whole biker image and thing. I'm probably getting pulled over for that. That's all good. I do. I deserve it. But, you know, we will see. He might not come after me. No, he hasn't yet. So, you know, you get this whole, like, um lifestyle change that Harley guys have and what the I guess he's not going to come and it's like you know you go it's just funny because you go in there and you may no matter what your life is midnight midlife crisis whatever the fuck you got going on you might have been a dork your whole life you know you walk into the Harley dealer and they're like well, we'll just turn all that around for you we'll get you all set up you're not just going to leave here with a bike you're going to leave here with you know a fucking a uh uh, fucking new, I mean, all this gear will fucking hook you up with with all you know all this different swag and bullshit to go along with it. Um, you know you're gonna come to meets with us from now on, and you know they'll tell you about the local meets they have up there and this and that. And it's like I don't know, it's it's it's, it's totally different. You're not buying a motorbike, you're buying a lifestyle. I can't believe that cop didn't pull me the fuck over. I I, I wasn't even you know whatever if that happened that happened. I was like yeah. 
Another coolest cop ever. And that was a state trooper. They're usually not cool. That or he just may have bluntly not seen me. He may have been looking forward. Anyway. So, I, there's just that's just something interesting to me, you know? Like, like, hell, maybe one day I get old and I would ride something like a Harley, you know? It's, it's not a bike that really tickles me or fancies anything to me right now, but maybe someday I'm just more relaxed and want something like that. I really don't think so because I still like a practicality of a bike and cruisers just aren't as maneuverable and quick handling as a, uh, is something like, you know, like what I'm on or even like a crotch rocket, you know, is a lot better. I have to turn around here in a minute. It did just rain. It just fucking rain. What am I doing? It did just fucking rain. Oh well. Let's see how this feels. This is a shortcut home. Or it's up being a long cut if I get stuck, right? So, um, so yeah. Graveyard over here. You know, like when every, every maneuver you make when it doesn't affect the bike but for like three four seconds and you know you're like yeah I'm in mud look at that we could go fishing in there but anyway um fuck what was there was like a point I was going towards in that or something but you know I, I guess what I'm saying is don't buy a bike for a lifestyle change just just because you went out and bought a Harley and, and now have a bunch of leather and shit you're not cooler and you don't have bike skill take your time learn to ride the thing I have nothing against you if you want to buy a Harley or into Harleys or whatever. It's all it's all gravy to me. I really don't give a shit. Whatever floats your boat. But you know, it's like I'd be careful if you're you go you know to go in there and just let the guy sell you up a whole fuck ton of shit and you know tickle your head about it all. Like yeah yeah, it's gonna be great, man. You're gonna be a fucking biker now. Should I just leave this recording now? that I ran into caught me doing this shit. I don't know, I'm, I'm, the reason I'm bringing this up is I've, I've had several times in the comments people have asked me, like, have you ever been uh, stopped by the cops while I was doing a wheelie? And the answer is,